So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So first of all, you have to just click on Start Lab and open the console incognito window. Now, if you are new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel, guys. Now let's get started. Now here, if you get any kind of pop up, just click on Agree and Continue, and just click on I understand. Here the first thing we have to do first of all if you are unable to see the search box just reload the browser window and first thing we have to create a vm instance for that from here just select the compute engine over here after the page is loaded also make sure to activate the cloud shell also you have to just click on the icon next to the basically button next to the gemini icon and you have to just click on continue and authorize to activate the cloud shell will performing that thing basically the ssh thing in the cloud shell only so that you don't face any issue now you have to come to the vm instance page i hope you have opened how to open i repeat you have to just click on this compute engine okay now from here you have to just select vm instance or you can just click on create instance too so just click on vm instance like this you have to click on it and then it will take some time so wait for it when so when you'll click on vm instance the page will load like this you have to just click on create instance now come to task number one from here copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space or full stop remove this unwanted pop-up and paste the name now for the region and zone always check the lab instruction okay you can see it's us west 1b in my case so if it is different select it like this now go to the os section update it to linux 11 the networking and select these two now come to the security and from here just allow all access to cloud api cross verify all this thing if it get updated you have to follow the lab instruction now click on create now it will take some time for creation so wait for it also just come the cloud shell because we'll be using that only now just wait for some time here you can see vm is now ready now you can see one down arrow is there next to the ssh option okay next to the ssh option there is one down arrow we have to just click on it click on view geo cloud command and in cloud shell just paste over here like this and hit enter okay just hit enter type y and then hit enter again hit enter once and once again hit enter now once you see if you get any kind of error just redo the same step that is down arrow and run in cloud shell now just install it you have to just install the command over here and then look like this you have to come back again to the lab instruction and run the next command over here so let's come back to the lab instruction and let's see this command over here paste it and hit enter now this is also done now we have to move again to the next step basically creation of directory and changing of directory okay so for that also come back again to the lab instruction first of all we will create a firewall okay first we are creating one firewall and then we will move forward to the directory creation now first of all check the score for this particular task now just come over here and just change the directory now just run the command just activate the server now Basically, here now we have to just open this port over here so how to open just minimize it over here here you can see external ip if you directly try to open it okay if you directly try to open it it won't work you have to use it via specific port only so how you have to view the port first thing is that you have to just open any online notepad let me show you how you have to do it all open any online notepad and here you can see they have mentioned that we have to point out using this only okay the external ip with this so just open any notepad you can use a personal notepad also there is no issue paste this content just increase the font size copy the external ip of the vm instance select it from here to here carefully copy it paste over here and hit enter now click on advance and proceed now here you'll get this kind of output 
then you will be able to get the score for task number 3. Now do not proceed for task number 4 until you get the score for task number 3 otherwise you won't get the score. Now to end the session use control C and now run the change the directory. Now again run the server and what you can do you can just do that same thing or you can just refresh the older browser window. Okay older window which we have active already just refresh it. Here you can see this play icon just play it and just try to check the score you'll get the score without any issue and if you face any issue do let me know in the comment section do check the playlist do check the description box for skill badges and lab free courses thank you guys have a great day ahead